Hey guys, what's up? I'm Dustin Mankin, and this is Excite Video Magazine. I just picked up a Yi Light Action Camera and a Cupton Aluminum Case to protect it. In this video, we'll be unboxing the Cupton Aluminum Case for the Yi Action Camera series. If you want to see me unbox and review this camera, go ahead and click on the link up here. Come on over to the workbench and let's take a look. All right, let's get this case open. Here is a microfiber cloth to wipe things down. Uh, here's a screw that goes along with your GoPro or your off-brand GoPro style mounts. Uh, here is a Alice clip version. Uh, this is what I use on most of my stuff around the house. Uh, it also does come with a UV filter. That's really nice. Uh, I don't know how good the UV filter is, but it is a 40.5 millimeter ring. And last but not least, here is a snap cover that goes over your filter so it can protect everything. And that means that this is a setup that you can leave on your camera. Now, what we really want to take a look at is this case that comes in this velvet bag. Uh, normally, velvet bags are a good sign. I don't know if any of you all like Crown Royal, but yeah. <laughs> so here is the case. Um, here are the mounting points for the case. And you can look right here. There's three screws. So if you really want to remove this mount, you can. Now, I have heard rumors that this mount does stick kind of far out. So, uh, especially the 4K and the 4K Plus do get some vignetting. I don't know what my Yi Light action camera will do, and that's what I'm going to use with this because it only has a 150 degree uh, field of view. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But, I mean, the case is, is pretty rugged, and it does look like it is made uh, really nice. So, this is the bottom right here. Let's get our Yi back out real fast and let's take a look at this guy with the Yi. This is the Yi Lite, but the Yi Lite, Yi 4K and the Yi 4K Plus all have the same format and same body structure, so that's nice. So technically you could use this with any of the three Yi cameras that I just mentioned and maybe more when they come out later if they keep the same body. We don't know what's going to happen with that. but. You put your camera in like this, and you can see your lens comes all the way out to there. And if you want to leave it in here, I was told you're supposed to mount this here. And this is what leaves your camera uh, mounted in. Now, it has a space for this, so I don't think it's really going to work with just this thumb screw. And presumably whatever you're using with a quarter 20 should hold this in place. So hold on. Let's, let's try this real fast. I have this guy laying around right here. Let's see what happens if we put this tripod. Oh yeah, the camera doesn't rattle around. And you can see there's pressure caused by the rubber seal. I don't know what the balance of this guy is going to be like. Oh, no, it's good. There's, a, there's no reason to worry. So you can use it like this if you want to use a tripod mount or something like that. And obviously there is a gap between the end of the, the thread mount and where it grabs so that that way it can fit this thumb screw for this GoPro mount. And when it's like this, I had a GoPro mount here too. You should be able to put this or any GoPro style mount here. Now the thing is, is this does make it a little bit tall. So you might want to be conscious of that when you're framing your shot or when you're planning your shots out, that this will sit a little bit higher than say like a GoPro case where you might be connected closer to around here. So. So the machining is really high quality on this, or the casting, whichever it may be. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Let's set this guy up real fast and see if we can put that filter on. 
and see what it's like. Now they just give you the UV filter, but the good thing is, is you could get a bunch of neutral density filters to block out some of the light and kind of help with your image control, or you could get a circular polarizer or anything. You know, if you really wanted to bring out the sparkles on the wax of a car at a drift event, which I don't know how often that happens, uh, you could technically put like a star, star filter that picks up all your light glares and stuff and magnifies them. And here it is with the UV filter on now. I have some dust on the UV filter I haven't cleaned off. Uh, obviously before I went to shoot, I would do something like this and uh, clean it off and everything. Um, this is a lens cap, uh, obviously. It's the same as all the other cheap Chinese uh, camera kit stuff you buy, but it does do a decent job of keeping everything protected. I mean, that, that'll be a good way to store it in a camera bag or something. So I don't think you have anything to worry about with that. So now let me see if I can get this guy turned on and see what the Yi light looks like in the case. I'm not getting any uh, vignetting that I can see. So no, nah, I don't think there's any vignetting at 150 degrees. So if you have a 4K or a 4K plus, you might have a vignetting problem because they have a 170 degree field of view with this case. But uh, on the Yi light, there is no problem with vignetting. And here's how it looks in the case. So this case is really, really nice. I don't have any problems. I will try it out again when I get one of the Yi 4Ks or the 4K pluses. I don't know when that's gonna be, but uh, for right now, I really enjoy this case. I think it will do a good job of protecting the camera, even if it's mounted on a car. So that is a good thing for me. Now it's time to weigh the pros and cons of the Cupton case when used with the Yi light. On the pro side, you have the rugged construction. This thing is built solidly. I have no doubt that if this thing falls on the front side of the case, your camera is going to be protected. But on the negative side, the back is very unprotected. If you dropped it and it landed on the screen side, you could potentially smash your screen all to pieces. And on a touchscreen camera, that could render this whole thing completely useless. But on a positive side, you can use filters with your action camera, and that's gonna allow you to get a lot better shots, and you won't have to spend so much time in post messing with colors and everything. Or, at the very minimum, it can give you a better base to start your post on if you want to do some color correction or some color grading or something. And another pro that goes in with the first one is that it does do a good job of protecting the camera, but the camera does slide out easy if you don't have the screw in place. So you always have to have it attached with the GoPro accessory attachment fingers or to a tripod or something, or it will slide out. I, I almost dropped my camera out of the case in this review. It's very easy to do, so you have to be really careful. Other thoughts are, based on what other people have said, this might vignette on the 4K and the 4K Plus cameras, but I don't know anything about that specifically, so I can't comment from my own personal use. I'm gonna rate this thing overall as a get. I do like this, and probably when I get more Yi Light cameras, I'm gonna buy more of these to go with it. I'm gonna check Amazon right now and see what kind of filters I can find, and on that note, we are out of here. If you like this video, please click like and share. And if you do like a lot of my videos, you find yourself watching some of these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for you. Subscribing is always for you. It will always be for you so that you can see the next cool video when it comes out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.